Hey guys, I'm out in southwestern New Hampshire today. It's a beautiful Saturday. Uh, it's going to be warm and we're putting some miles in. I've been biking just to get to my starting point here for the bushwhack. And it's where I'm headed is to two spots. Uh, one is an area that is new to me. Uh, this is a mined area. Uh, there looks to be two long cuts. Whether or not anything extends underground, I, I really have no idea. And then, uh, but I'm going to check that out. And I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to revisit a spot that I first found in 2017, so five years ago. I'm at the first of the two cuts, uh, just coming into it now, and it, it, this is big. I still think it might just be open cut, but uh, much bigger than I suspected it was going to be. It's got nice uh, 30, 35 foot walls. All right, a little bit of flooding as we get towards the back here. And I do not see any adits or tunnels, so yeah, this, this one, uh, cool overhang up here. Uh, big open cut, big open quarry. Just came out of that cut, and the other one kind of butts up against it, like head to head. So, got a little, little, nice little path here, and I should be able to climb up this and then off to the right somewhere, see the other cut. Okay. Yeah, as promised, here's the other one. Uh, I found. I get to the top, I found a little, I don't want to call it a path, but more of like a little scramble down. And we're in a big quarry. And we got some spots that, although I'm not getting into at the moment, do go underground and that ice over are going to be worth a trip back. Well, I got a good spot here. And now I've got this place, uh, I got the layout. That's the one I was most hopeful for. Uh, I can see now it goes in about 20 feet. So uh, as opposed to what I said earlier, that this would be a good spot to come up during ice out. No, it wouldn't. Um, this would be a good spot to come up during a big drought. I think it says, no motorized vehicles, please. Morning sun, do not know. About 500 feet to go. Made it to the top. And this is uh, big as well, 30 foot walls. And right down there is where we're going. You can see that used to be a lot of stuff just kind of piled at the end of the cut. And that was, I presume at one point, buried. Enough has uh, kind of peaked its way through over the hundred years that that's where we're going in. Here's a great look. The size of this quarried area. And perhaps you can see a little bit better. Uh, like I say, a lot of these were buried back a uh, hundred years ago, but they almost buried uh, quite hastily. Just throw a bunch of stuff over the opening and then uh, that's it, pack it up. But that's, uh, you know, things get dug out, things shift, things settle over time. And uh, several of these over the years have uh, exposed themselves either just due to time or with some help. All right, there's a little bit of a look in. Um, it is flooded. I think about a foot uh, at the deepest. And there's rocks along the side that you can almost keep dry, but not quite. So, for this trip, I brought these. Alright, here we go. This water is going to be a little cold. Stepping on some nice quartz here. Okay, on some dry ground. Let's have a look this way. It is continuing, just kind of bending to the right before it shafts up and out. Turn around this way. And if I turn off my lights for a second, you see just a sliver of light there. That's the entrance peeking down and through off to the side. And since I'm right in the heart of the tunnel here, I am sounding like this is the one time I might have a good singing voice. But still, probably not. Okay. 
Now, I was out here in December 2017, and I this is as far as I went. Uh, from here, as it starts slanting up, it was all ice and nothing that I could tackle. Um, not seeing, see if I do that, I barely see light. So does that exit up and out? You know, I, I looked at the top of the ridge as I was coming in today, and I didn't see the opening at the top. But I think if I try this again, yeah, it's hard to tell if I'm seeing light, so I'm going to scramble up and see. Uh, it used to exit, and I'm going to see if it still does. Well, look at that. Sure does exit still. I missed it. Okay, here we go. So, from where I am, up and out, 38 feet. And that's uh, at least 45 degrees. It's uh, six feet by six feet. Exit. And then I turn around. And we'll give you a nice walk through. So first, let's get from where I am down to the bottom where it's going to turn. Another 17 feet plus the 38. So that's 55 feet. So now let's get to the next turn, another 20 feet. So to right there, that puts us 75 feet. Let's get up there. Okay, 135 feet, nice tunnel. So I really like this tunnel because it is so unique. Uh, if you look at the left wall, the left of where I'm standing, look at that distinct line right there with all the cool rock and quartz up top and then just uh, plain old brand. Right there. It's the frog. Let's see if he's going to put on a show for us. I don't know if he's just going to sit there and pretend he's a rock. And a rock it is. I climbed up top the ridge uh, just because I wanted to locate. I knew it came up and out. Where the heck is that shaft? Well, here it is. And I was not going to be climbing up and out of this. I could have gotten to the bottom of the incline, but that's still a good 15 feet to where you'd have to get up and out of the holes. I brought home a hitchhiker. I don't think he wants to come all the way to the seacoast with me, though. <laughs> 